People will see where I am now, the stages I get to be on, the impact I get to make, but they don't know the sacrifices. We instantly walked away from six figures, great money, taking two vacations a year, and just built our first house. Wow. Like, Ooh, life yeah, was good. That. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. life was good, yeah. and we walked away from all yeah. of that. And there was no guaranteed things was no gonna work net. out. Yeah. I had to bet on myself, though. Yeah. And I could do all things, I could do all things, yeah, I could do all things, yeah, yeah. Man, y'all excited for the day. We are on the way to the airport as usual, about to fly to Michigan. We're recording podcasts today with E. We're about to let the world know about our partnership, our alliance. Um, number one motivational speaker in the world coming over to the Next Level Speaks Academy. So super excited about that. Um, super excited to be able to build this community with him alongside Inky Johnson. So we got photo shoots today. We'll be recording some podcasts and we're gonna have a full day, man. I'm excited. Stay tuned. It's Carl, what it do? Welcome home, man, last night was smooth, hey, bro. Last night was smooth, man. What up, man? How you feeling? Good to see you, boy. What's up, bro? Oh, Ooh. man, glad to be here. You were up in Chicago. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The original GOAT. Yes, you feel sir, me? Sir. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you ready? Yes, sir. I'll probably say a good 28, 27. You feel me? And so, huh? <laughs> I'm locked in right now. Yeah, 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 for sure. And if, and if it comes... Uh, we have a family member. He ain't no guest. I'd never call him no guest. That'd be insulting to my brother here. Y'all already, I bet you probably 87% of y'all already know him because he's been killing. Uh, but, man, yeah, I got my brother, okay. uh, Jeremy today, Anderson, sure. in the building, man. Yeah, Long sure. overdue debut yeah. on the Secret to Success podcast, but we got some dope stuff going on. We'll tell you all about that later. But, Jeremy, welcome to the podcast. Man, bro. appreciate you, man. Feels good to be here. Man, hang on one second, bro. I promise you. Hey, well, let me say this while C's on the phone. And don't think because he's here, you about to get on the podcast. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. No, I'm just being real, because some of y'all, when you so, see a person on the podcast, you go, oh, if he on the podcast, and I can get on the podcast. And that, you don't necessarily know what he did to get on the podcast, so you need to be asking yourself, hey, what did he do to get there? Are you feeding him? Like, what are you feeding him now? This dude is just sharp all the time. Who's no, that? We're not like, playing. Hey. Oh, wait till I is get on an NADIV. Hey, oh. y'all feeding him gunpowder or something? That yeah. thing reju- oh, yeah, we seen the group you text did. with Didi. He's just snapping he everybody. Like, huh? He just ready. No, I'm teasing E. I'm saying he ready. Oh, He's no, no, no. Just- I'm ready, ready. Talk about, man, this journey now. You obviously, you keynoting, headlining in Australia. You Jet South seven. Africa, you just yeah. all over, Jet man. Seven. And you know, obviously God has rewarded you and you've taken this new career path and I'll, I'm gonna make the announcement and we can tell them and some of them might've already seen it already. But talk about this now, this pivot into this arena where, you know, now you're in, in that top 1%. So it's, you know, it's been, you know, 13 years in the making. Um, me and my wife, we quit our jobs. I, I was at the school, this middle school, Probably, this is probably, I'm still in year number two speaking part-time, I'm still working full-time, but you know how you kind of go back and forth. I mean, I'm at this middle school, bro, this little girl tells me afterwards, red hair and freckles, she's like, you saved my life. She's like crying. I'm, it took me like a few seconds to calm her down so she can actually talk. She's like, thank you, you saved my life. I'm like, how so? She was just like, I was gonna commit suicide, but because of your story, now I wanna live. And she was just like, and she was like, now I know no weapon formed against me will prosper. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm more than the conqueror. She's looking at her arm. You know our kids be biting mm. on their body. She's like, my condition will not be my conclusion. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I want to live. I want to live. I'm going to make you proud, Mr. Jeremy. Gives me a hug, runs off the class, bro. I'm, I'm messed up. I'm thinking like, yo, this little girl said I saved her life. She had planned on committing suicide because her best friend died. And so I go home and tell my wife, I'm like, hey, babe. It's time for me to quit my job and go all in. I made her breakfast to yeah, get her where, in the where spirit. Were you working? Mm-hmm. Huh? Where were you working? Where were you working? Wild Tech. Yeah, like a tech school. And so uh, I made I her egg that. whites. Yes. Uh huh. I made her oatmeal, two egg whites. And so I had to get her in the spirit. And I'm yeah. like, hey, boo, I'm about to quit my job. She was like, what? And I'm just like, that's what God said, dude. 
She's yeah. like, well, what he said about me? I'm like, mm. nothing. I need Not you, yet. I need Give me you, a minute. I need you to keep working. Yeah, yeah. Right, and she was right. like, she was like, bump that. I'm gonna quit my job too. Cause she worked for Redstone Arsenal. She worked for Jacobs ESTS. They was a government defense contractor. She was like, I'm gonna quit my job too. You be all over the place. I'm gonna manage you, structure you. We gonna build it together. I was shook, Ma. I was like, did you, did you pray about this? But we went all in. And, and that's a, a significant part of my story. Cause again, people will see where I am now, the stages I get to be on, the impact I get to make, but they don't know the sacrifices. We instantly mm. walked away from six figures, great money, taking two vacations a year, and just built our first house. Wow, like dude, life yeah, was good. That. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, life was good, yeah. and we walked away from all yeah. of that. And there was no guarantee things was no going to work net. out. Yeah. I had to bet on myself, though. Yeah. And so I went all in. And then I had to, even when I'm speaking and getting paid a little bit, yep. I got to be wise with it not to eat my seeds. Because yep. yep. a lot of times, people that eat their seeds, is like, OK, I got to check. Let me pay a bill. It's like, man, I got to put that back into the mm -hmm. business. And so yep. we on the other side now. So it's been years. I started off churches and schools than universities, and just recently I spoke for um, the Million Dollar Roundtable. Shout out to Rory, Rory was there too. Oh, word, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm at Australia, breakfast, yeah. and I look at Rory, we in Sydney, Australia, in the hotel, he's like, Jeremy, I'm like, Rory, what you doing here? And, uh, and we speaking for the same gig, and um, you know, they paid me 50 grand Praise for 30 God. minutes on stage. Mm. You know, an international global financial leadership conference, only the top of the top in that financial leadership space get awarded to go to this conference. And so to see the places I've been in and the position I'm in now, it's, uh, it's a blessing. It's amazing, man, to watch. Yeah. You know, again, like, I feel like one of the things, like how we built it, and then obviously E being number one, and along that way, just like grabbing folks and like, come on, and now you see like our whole team. And I said it on um, the training that we did the other mm -hmm. day, but like, I stand on this, like, I don't care, again, what you think about E, whether you like him as a speaker or not, it don't make no difference to me. When you look at E, it's impossible not to look at E and see CJ, Jeremy, Maul, Carl, Inky, Nikki, Moose, Toby. I mean, it's like the list just keeps going. You know what I'm saying? Alex, you know what I'm saying? Just like the, the, the list of people, and I'm not trying to be funny, but if you look at your other favorite, you know, influencers, I'm just being real. Say their name and then say who under them. I promise you, they, whoever under them not making 50 grand doing their own thing, whoever under them not making 100 grand doing their own thing, it's not, bro, I'm not trying to be funny. I, bro, how many millionaires, young black millionaires right. have come from Facts. E's leadership? Facts. So I, when I say I brag on that and stand on that, you could say anything. I don't care if you don't like the speeches. That don't even matter. How many black millionaires have come as a result of E's leadership in our group, just of our own circle? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so that's something I think that I'm most proud of. And also what I'm most proud of to announce and to say is, um, Jeremy, of course, was getting all the game. We had a speaker training program, Game Changers. He had one next level uh, speakers. And it was kind of weird because we was kind of like parallel doing stuff. And it was always fam. Right. I'm like, right. and, and I think one day I called Jeremy and was like, do you realize that you got a testimonial about Game Changers on the Game Changer page, right, right, and you got your own. Right, right. <laughs> so like you got a testimonial talking about how good somebody else's real estate course yeah. is. It's like, wait a minute. So it just right. became like real like weird. But, hey, but even when the request would come in, oh, yeah. while we got our Speakers Academy, I'm like, I still got to yeah. pay homage and respect. Right, 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 right. I ain't finna act The only new. time I had to, I tell Jeremy, I was like, he was like, can you come speak at my conference? I was like, for sure, I'm gonna be there, let me know. <laughs> and then Jeremy was like, is this cool? He sent me the flyer and I was like, yo, we got an event like next weekend, dog. Like I can't. And so I hit him like, hey, I come, you can even like shout it out. Just don't put me on the flyer. Right, right, right. And so we had a couple little instances like that. He was trying to audition for Tony Robbins. So. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I need all the pull back. Yeah, yeah. And we had back-to-back -back conferences yeah. for speakers yeah. in Atlanta. And we family, y'all like family. Yeah. I'm talking about like we eating at their house, we coming through for birthday party, like this is family. So I think I, I called him probably about a year ago and I was just like, yo, I don't know what's going on, but like we need to figure something out. You know, like we too close, it's too much synergy. We, we, we teaching the same thing because we all came up the same way. And then we revisited the conversation a while ago. And we was just like, look, it's gonna be a lot of work, you know, and it has been a lot of work. We got teams on this side, teams on this side. But man, I'm, I'm happy to announce and just thrilled and overjoyed to announce the fact that we have combined efforts. So now, uh, Eric Thomas, 
Jeremy Anderson and Inky Johnson present to you Next Level Speakers 2.0, um, the number one training course in the world hmm. for speakers. Um, it is it is a combination of everything that we've learned in our careers in this industry, and not just motivational speakers, trainers, educators, anybody just looking to get better with their vocabulary and speak. Motivational speaking is one thing. Training and being able to communicate for yourself, no matter, you could have a corporate job. My wife was one of the top people in her corporate company because she could convey herself very well. Appreciate you, bro. True. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know. Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. All right, so five, 45. Man, we just got done filming some ads. Ooh. Talk about the new program. Yeah, get ready, y'all. Yeah. It's life changing. It's about to be crazy. For those of you who are serious. College, a Christian college, and again began to teach at the Christian Academy. And Jeremy Anderson was one of my students. Please help me welcome my guy Jeremy Anderson. How y'all feeling? Come on, y'all feeling good? I looked myself in the mirror and I began to tell myself this: I was born to be a leader. I was born to win, and I'll live in my purpose until the end. If you question my greatness and don't believe, I'll prove you wrong, and soon you'll see. I am great, I am smart, I won't quit, I won't bend. I'll show hope and love until the very end. I'll lead with honesty, respect, hope, and love. And I'll lead this world to rise above. I won't give up with life I'll wrestle, for I am a hardworking and resilient vessel. I am cool, I am smart, I am kind, I am special. I'll remain grateful, but never sell. I gotta go to the airport. Love y'all, man. God bless. <laughs> <laughs>